Hey everyone, Dr. H here. I just want to show you how quickly and easily it is to create your own personal video testimonial page, lead capture page with this system. First of all, once you've logged in, once you've bought the account, you've logged in, and I suggest you get the unlimited version. It's one, you know, you'll you'll log in at the $47 fee, and then they'll give you an option to upgrade for $67. Of course, that's uh, that's still $30 cheaper than if you were to later on try to upgrade. So I, I went and bought the full system, and I did, and now I have unlimited lead capture pages for life. Okay, so once you've logged in the first thing you'll see is this menu here and it'll give you a welcome I'm gonna click on create a page now I have an option to be able to create a selected basic template with no video or selected video template with video so I'm gonna do the one with video I simply click on that over my left hand corner over here I'm able to take and as you can tell close that window raise it up that gives me a little sample of what I'm gonna be looking for and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and follow the list and it says CPN number and what that is enter the number of the next page your tutorial number of pages so as I'm creating pages it gives me a list of how many pages I've created all right this will be number 13 for me so this is right here we're gonna give it a name and I'm gonna put on here dr. H and I'm gonna put testimonial and I'm gonna put two okay so now that I've got a name that names that page I'm gonna click on the gray now that just gave that right here now that the first thing I'll we'll do is this title where it says recession proof I can actually do a drop down uh, and click on the gray it'll say drive truckloads of traffic or I can create in this title version right here whatever I want it to be and here's what I'm gonna put in so I'm gonna already do a cut and paste here so I've already put that in and I'm gonna put an explanation mark and do this and it says up here because I clicked on the gray this says stem cell nutrition help my body to help my back issues all right I can put my uh, even chronic back issues okay notice I'm not using the word pain or or the word healing or anything like that you can't do that all right so the stem cell nutrition helped my body to help my chronic back issues okay so because I changed that and clicked on the gray I don't have to use the pre-made stuff I can just take what I've, I decided to put right here and do a paste if I want to go back and change that later I can but for me I decide just to go with that all right I can even change the color if I want to change the color notice it's yellow I'm gonna leave mine white for the time being okay now that as I scroll down through here uh, this says enter your best email in the form below well I'm gonna rather than using one of the uh, pre-made versions I'm gonna use my own okay so I'm going to do a paste here from one of the previous sites I made Okay, and notice I clicked on the gray here and it says fill it and that changes my template. Fill in your info below, type in forward slash A for not applicable in the phone field if you don't want me to call you. And I'm going to put on here, don't want me to call and you at this time. Okay, and I'll click on that. Notice it changed it over here. Okay, now right now we've got a name field and an email field, but I'm going to show you how to add the phone number here in just a moment. And as we scroll down through here, it's going to give me Title 3. Title 3 is what's down at the footer down here at the bottom. Now let me show you what I'm going to paste. Now I can go back in and do a footer and say I want, you know, copy, click the copy message to form, and that would be the rest easy. I can do footer 2 and put that on. It says we hate spam or footer 3 and click on click copy and it changes we respect your privacy your information will not be sold or shared we can do that but I'm gonna use my own so in title number three I'm simply gonna click on the box I'm gonna do a paste and I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on the gray and now it says your information is kept private is not shared with anyone order today we will give you a free website to share with everyone get paid for sharing our product so you see it's completely customizable and as I scroll down here I can actually click I tell it I want the overlay here to be to the left of the screen I want it to be to the right of the screen or I want it to be in the middle okay I can also say I want this overlay to be smaller but I'm gonna leave it alone like it is now I'm gonna need a video a video that I can attach to put up here so I go to a video that I uploaded to YouTube and I simply click on share when I click on share this box here appears I click it once I hit control C on my keyboard and I go back over here and I click on video link control V like V and Victor okay 
and I do a paste. I click on the gray. Now that's going to load that in. Now I also have an opportunity to use AWeber for an, for an autoresponder program. Uh, these are paid services if I want them. Get response, traffic wave, go wave, none. I'm going to select none, okay, because I don't really don't want an auto -sys a responder system at this time, okay. Now then, it allows me to uh, either choose a custom page that I've already created. I can redirect it to another page, like an upsell page, or I can make it go to my corporate website uh, for them to sign up and buy the product. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the corporate website to buy the product. So I've gone to the corporate website. I'm going to take the uh, URL that you see there that I've highlighted in blue. I'm going to take that and copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to go back over here to my only list and I'm going to take and highlight that and paste that and click on the gray. So now when somebody fills out this form, it's automatically going to send them automatically to the sign up page or to any place I want it to go to. It could be information about the particular product that we've got. So that's pretty exciting about that. Now I can change the borders around here to a, uh, for example, a gradient overlay which as you can see right here, we can click Add to Form and that changes it to the light blue. If I want to do a white overlay, I can add it, it turns it to white. Or I can do the black one and that's, I'm only leaving it with the black one, that's what I like to choose. Now the action button here that's in red, I, I don't want it to be an action button, I want it to be, uh, for example, they can get it now. So I'm going to click on Get It Now, here's all the buttons and I want it to be the, the multicolored one. So I click on it hit proceed notice it shows over here. yes I want to get it now then my page is almost complete but as I scroll down uh, like I said I have my targeted link right here and I want to change my background image um, I don't want it to be the beach so I'm going to choose an image now I could right here upload an image from my computer and I've already done that so I'm going to click on my images and I'm going to select the one on, for stem cells I like this particular image I'm going to click on that to go to the website and have it paste. That's my new website right now. I am almost ready to publish my website. But here it says, choose, I'm going to click this box, uh, check box to ping 50 web blog sites and let the search engines find your new capture page. Now in the future they're going to allow you to do meta tags, but right now it's all done by the wording that you're using. So be very careful with the words you're using because you want all the traffic you can get. All right. But remember that phone number that's missing? I'm going to put click access right here at the bottom. I'm going to click on that and I want to add a phone number to my website. And this will be my Dr. H testimony number two page. I'm going to put yes and save details. And as you notice, it added the phone number. But because it added a phone number, they have to put their phone number in in order to submit the form. So the more information you put in here, the less clicks you're going to get. But I really want to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. It's really about just having somebody on the phone or in person. That's always worked better for me. So I put on here, fill in your info below, uh, type NA in the phone field if you don't want me to call you at this time. But they got to put something in there for it to pass the form on over to me. So I'm ready to get started. So we're going to go down to the bottom and click Save Results. Now it's immediately going to 